Big Brother. Mainstream media. Government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. Live from Austin, Texas, broadcasting worldwide, it's Alex Jones. Now, I don't know if this Jared Lee Loeffner, who from his own Facebook photos looks like a complete demon, I don't know if this guy is under mind control or not, but we know that Sirhan Sirhan was, that's even the London Independent and London Guardian. Here's the headlines right here. Was Robert Kennedy killed by a real Manchurian candidate-style assassin? That's what the L.A. Police Department thinks. London Guardian, new evidence challenges official picture of Kennedy shooting. Same thing. Uh, so that's all come out on that front. Sirhan Sirhan, Mark David Chapman, uh, John Hinckley Jr. Uh, we're going to be talking about that coming up uh, with Jim Mars in about 40 minutes, uh, as I said. By the way... Uh, the reason a lot of uh, that mind control uh, questions are there is, and we can punch this up on screen, we're not just a radio show, we're also uh, streaming a video of everything we're talking about at prisonplanet.tv if you want to go over and actually watch it. Uh, here's a screenshot from his YouTube uh, channel. It, 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 it hasn't been taken down yet, uh, his MySpace was, but we were able to copy that. And the whole thing is mind control. He says... If I'm the mind controller, then I control the belief and the religion. And uh, I've studied the creepy declassified evidence of MK Ultra, MK Naomi, the admitted government mind control operation, and the people who are under mind control always believe they are the mind controller. And they always believe they're working for the government on a secret mission. Well, it turns out he told people months ago he was on a secret mission for the government. We have sworn affidavits. Uh, from Terry Nichols and others, uh, that McVeigh told the guards and others at every prison he was at that he'd been on a secret mission for the government. And then we were able to get FBI documents via four-year lawsuits, uh, and it turned out he was working for the government. Kind of like Fox News reported three months ago, Anwar al alaki number three in al-Qaeda on 9-11, Number one in uh, operations under bin Laden today, secretly meeting at the Pentagon two months after 9-11 with the Army uh, top brass, including the Secretary of the Army. Oh, he ran the Fort Hood shooter, who was also a psychiatrist and wrote about mind control. He ran the underwear bomber that witnesses saw last Christmas, uh, the Christmas before last, uh, a little over a year ago, looking drugged and disheveled, being put on the plane without a passport. Later, that was confirmed, Detroit... Uh, free press, Associated Press, two months after our witnesses on this show, listeners of this broadcast, Kurt Haskell and his wife, both lawyers, witnessed the whole thing. And the FBI said it wasn't true, and two months later, the uh, Undersecretary of State, Mr. Kennedy, came out and said, yes, we were ordered to get him on the plane by an unnamed intelligence agency. AP, boom, in your face, boom, who's running him? A CIA asset, Amor al Boom. Okay, so for anybody living in denial about this, this is the facts, and I'm going to walk through all of it. But the establishment didn't waste any time. Within hours, they were on his Facebook, on his MySpace, on his YouTube, and I have watched all the videos on there. I spent all my time yesterday, hours and hours today, deeply researching it. Uh, I checked all. Of the millions of comments on InfoWars.com, PrisonPlanet.com, nothing from him, nothing on the web associated with us, Ron Paul, anybody. And so what does the Southern Poverty Law Center do with Mr. Potok? Uh, he blames Ayn Rand, the Fountainhead author. We got this clip coming up, and David Icke, can't even get his name right, calls him David Icke, calls him a right-winger. If David Icke doesn't believe in the left-right paradigm, but if he was anything, you'd call him a New Age leftist, uh, though he wouldn't like that term. That's the closest mainline label. I mean, the guy's all into higher consciousness, basically Buddhism and total nonviolence. I mean, now they're getting kind of, you know, guys, a guy that covers UFOs and stuff, blaming it on him, who calls for total nonviolence. I mean, we're going to get David on this week to respond to it. I mean, this is crazy. I'm just glad they're not blaming yours truly. Uh, remember back in 2009, Richard Poplowski, his mother was kicking him out of the house. He had two pit bulls. 
urinating all over the floor. He just got out of the Marine Corps. He was drunk uh, in the early morning hours. He, refu he refused to get rid of the dogs. His mother tried to kick him out. He threw a fit, shot three cops when they got there. Within hours, the news said he did it because of me. And then we actually got uh, the contents were made public of his Internet. He was visiting CNN, Fox, and he was all over my website attacking me because I'm against violence. And he was a white supremacist. But they blame, and I forced a retraction in five newspapers. But, but, but within two hours of those cops being dead, they tried to blame yours truly. I mean, I'm the one being death threatened by the white supremacists. Go on the internet. It's everywhere. I'm sick of it. And, 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 and you know why, don't you? Because we force it out in the news and then it came out in the Orlando newspaper three years ago that the FBI was creating and running the white supremacist groups and having marches through black and Hispanic neighborhoods. We forced it out that Hal Turner was an FBI national security asset that's now come out in federal court. That talk show host who attacked me every day and sent people after me trying to get folks to do violent things. They don't like it because I know they work for the feds. We have the lawyers on, like Jesse Trenadu, who sued and got the documents at the Southern Poverty Law Center, was running Elohim City that McVeigh was at. Not infiltrating it, running it. They set this stuff up, and that's why they're after me. And they're very dangerous. Very, very, very dangerous people. Okay? And that's why the white supremacists are after yours truly, because I know who they're working for. They go out and find mentally ill, insane, violent people, and they try to get them to go out and do violent things so they can use that to crack down on everybody's free speech, everybody's Second Amendment. Just like it's come out, uh, you know, uh, what was it, uh, New York Times, Washington Post. I just covered it again Friday. It was in Salon, you know, headline. Uh, Martinez, he was the latest bomber they were going to have in Maryland. Uh, you know, couldn't cook bomb, couldn't get anything ready. The FBI recruited him, tried to help him make it. They go out and find mentally ill prison convicts and people. And if they're Mexican, they try to make them Muslims. Or if they're black, they try to make them Muslims. Or if they're Hispanic, they try to make them Muslims. If they're white, they try to make them white supremacist. And that's what the prisons are. We have the biggest prison population in the world. And in the prisons, you got the white supremacist wing, you got the Mexican supremacist wing, you got the black supremacist wing, and that's the end of it. And, and that's, the government actually fosters that and puts you in your wing, and then they're giant colleges of how to be an extremist dirtbag. And then they get out of prison, and the FBI and the Southern Poverty Law Center and all these groups are there to handle them and manipulate them and control them. Uh, now, this guy fits the bill. And, and we've got an incredible photo of him up at InfoWars.com from his Facebook. And we'll put it up on screen when we come back from break. Uh, but it's the top uh, uh, photo on our article, and it's updated. Uh, Arizona assassin obsessed with mind control. Obsessed with mind control. And, uh, again, the article is up on the Drudge Report. It's one of the top stories uh, up on the Drudge Report. He's linked to our report. Arizona assassin obsessed with mind control. And then we have links to the congressional hearings admitting the CIA does have mind control. Uh, we have links to all the mainstream news articles admitting that mind control has been involved uh, in other assassinations. And we're going to walk through all of this ahead of Jim Mars joining us. Now, I'm not saying he was under mind control. But if we know mind control exists, and we know our government and other governments have been involved in it. And he fits the M.O. of that. And they're already politically using this out of the gates. We're going to look at it. He may have just been a complete, violent, paranoid, uh, schizophrenic, which then mirrors what mind control looks like because they artificially create that schizoid condition. Coming to you live from the front lines of the info war. If you're listening on the radio, I would direct you to the drudgereport.com. We've posted so many articles, so much analysis with my crew that it's already moved off the main page into archives. The Drudge has still got it up in the uh, top links. It's uh, the next to the bottom uh, there at drudgereport.com. Obsessed with mind control. That's the article you want to read. And then it's been updated today with another article by Paul Joseph Watson. T toning down the rhetoric means obeying big government. Arizona assassin obsessed with mind control. And that, of course, is Jared Lee Loeffner. 
uh, who shot uh, in the head Congresswoman uh, Gabrielle Giffords, who, thank God, uh, is not dead and is responding. We hope she has a full recovery. Killed a little nine-year-old girl, killed a federal judge, um, killed three other people, six dead, uh, a whole bunch of others uh, obviously wounded. Everybody knows those facts. The larger issue here is who is this guy really, A, and B, how dare Keith Oberman and Fox News, for that matter, uh, not just MSNBC, but also Fox News, but even more so Keith Oberman. We're going to play a clip of this coming up. Come out and s say with the Southern Poverty Law Center that this is the fault of Ayn Rand. You know, a lady who wrote books 50-something years ago about peaceful resistance to tyranny. And they actually say in this clip that anybody who thinks about the individual against the state or the individual being more important than the state, that's the fundamentals of America. That's what the founding fathers said. That's why our republic has always been different. And they say, that's just terrible. Then they go on to demonize David Icke and call him a right-wing conspiracy theorist? David Icke, if, if you want to use terms that are kind of mainstream, is kind of like a New Age type guy, all about peace and love. And, and, and by the way, there's no mention of David Icke because the guy talks about uh, conscious dreaming, which is talked about by hundreds and hundreds of authors that I know of. Again, kind of a New Age or Buddhist type deal. I mean, this is crazy. This is crazy. I've read all this guy's stuff. I've watched all his videos. Nothing about Ayn Rand. Nothing about David Icke. They just take vague terms and say that means he's right wing. Well, really, he uh, the, the the main thing he praises in videos and in text, the main thing is the Communist Manifesto. That's more Obama uh, or Keith Oberman. I, I, I mean, this is a guy. He also likes Mein Kampf which the control left in this country has taught folks is right wing. Uh, they were national socialist. Hitler was a vegetarian. He wanted big government to run people's lives. Now, he used a fascist system to rob the population, but he was a socialist. That's what Nazi means, National Socialist uh, Workers' Party. Now, continuing here, I am just so blown away by this, but Fox News goes further. They don't say left wing or right wing. They say conspiracy theorist because Jared Lee Loeffner talked about currencies. But he didn't talk about gold and silver. He talked about some other weird, quacky currency. And, of course, that's one of the hottest issues in the world right now because currencies are being devalued. I mean, you know, in the, in, in the 1980s when Mexico devalued its peso, people were talking about that, not because they were white supremacists or because they wanted to shoot nine-year-olds, but because they were losing their purchasing power. I mean, that's all over the news every day, the currency wars that are happening, uh, how the Chinese uh, are coming out and not trading in the dollar anymore and moving away from it. So, so the overall message here is, if anybody does anything wrong, then it's everyone's fault who has any political agreements with them. Really, I didn't see MSNBC do that last year with the uh, guy that took all the hostages at Discovery Channel who thought there were too many people and was a big leftist environmentalist. I didn't see that. Uh, or, or I don't hear them freaking out all the time, you know, when uh, left-wing people do things that are bad. Uh, since when are we this collectivist model where... We now have this world of social media where everybody talks about who they are and what they are. Uh, and so I guess if somebody's a child molester and they own stock in uh, Coca-Cola, does that mean Coca-Cola is uh, you know doing things? No. I mean, it's just amazing guilt by association. And I've got a big stack of articles here today. Uh, here is uh, Yahoo News. Uh, in the aftermath of the... Uh, Gifford's shooting, a debate over heated political rhetoric. You know, should it be restricted? Here's another one out of NPR. Uh, vitriol cited as possible factor in Arizona tragedy. Uh, it goes on from there. Uh, Paul Watson has a big article on this. Uh, political hacks waste no time in shamelessly exploiting uh, Gifford's shooting to demonize political opposition. And what do we have going on at the same time? We have the big headlines out there. Obama wants Internet ID to track you in real time everywhere you travel on the web. Another big headline. FCC wants to restrict hate speech on Internet.